Hey, this is Crafty Cuts all the way from the UK. You're rocking on the music channel, One Like You. Check this out, John. No, I've been to uh, Budapest many times. I've I've had some wonderful, wonderful nights here at the A38 boat party and obviously Corvin Tento. Um, it's a great club. Mika has brought me over, as you can see. He's uh, little flyers there. Um, and he's a great promoter as well and producer. And um, there's a great energy here in Hungary. It's, it's, it's probably, for me, my favourite European destination in all the places that I go. Put your fucking hands up! In my local area, there was a DJ competition, so I thought I'd enter, and you know, I'd only just started DJing. I'd never played on Technics turntables at the time, and it was an opportunity to, to, to play on proper you know, equipment, and I jumped at the chance, and I got right through the, the, the heats, and uh, to win the heats to go through each, each round, uh, you got cheers from the crowd, and the loudest cheer was the DJ who went through. And uh, I got to the final where I was uh, battling against my, one of my best friends, and it was quite funny because he had turntables and he'd had them for a long time. Whereas only, you know, I had no turntables, I had no way of practicing, so it was all in my head. So it was, it was good. It was a good experience, and I realised that um, DJing was was my was my career. <laughs> This is my new album, Let's Ride. Um, basically, it's taken me about three years to produce. Uh, 16 tracks. It uh, represents Crafty Cuts in, in, in a complete way of hip hop, breakbeat, disco, soul, funk, jazz, drum and bass, electro. It's always good to, to finish off an album that's taken. Imagine doing something, you know, working on something for two, three years, and then fun. That it's just that in front of you. That is the finished product. Don't be running with the bass phenomena. Bass phenomena. Because I'm always touring and flying around the world and playing in Australia, Canada, America, Budapest, and, and the UK, it's hard to actually sit down and take six months out of my schedule with no no shows and write an album. Whereas people like, say, Chemical Brothers, Groove Armada and example and people like that will probably take time off to write an album because they've got a major record label whereas <coughs> this is all my own record label this is all my own uh, my own money funding this and uh, clearing the samples paying for all the travel and, and the food and you know this probably cost me about 50,000 euros to make this album <laughs> 